This episode of Storytellers is brought to you by these fine companies. I'm Jeff Taylor. You're watching Storytellers at Competition Plus TV. you can tell me is about how you and Charlie almost managed to screw up winning a fi uh, losing a fixed race. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. What's known now is Galat, uh, where they race that there. They call it Galat now. But back then when we raced, it was called Dunn Benson uh, drag strip. <clears throat> and um, the guy that owned the place, uh, you know, it, if they run, uh, well, had a protest, you pull the head off, he looked at the head and he decided what, if it was a super stalker, he'd look at it and he'd decide what the CCs were. And then he would take his ruler and he'd measure the born stroke. And he would decide if you were legal or not legal. That way, with no instruments other than a tape measure. <clears throat> and he would make that decision. But um, he come, we'd been up there and raced and raced and you never could win you know, uh, pretty much the local favorites won all the time. And he come by our shop one day, same deal, and uh, he told Charlie, he said, are you coming up and run with me Labor Day? This was b before we were even, well, Charlie was teaching school, I was still in school, we couldn't go to Indy yet, you know, we just couldn't take that much time. So it was a Labor Day race, he said, if you'll come up there and run, he said, I guarantee you'll win. <clears throat> and uh, so we just kind of laughed about it and didn't think nothing about it. Well, sure enough, you know, Monday shows up and Charlie's like, let's go up there and run. He said, maybe he ain't lying to us. I said, well, you know, we're wasting our time, but we'll go. So we go up there. Well, what does Charlie do first round? He red lights. Gets back to the trailer. Here comes Dallas down there. He says, uh, what, are, what are you doing? He said, what? Charlie said, what do you mean? He said, I red lighted. it. <clears throat> he said, do you know the spot was wrong on that run and we're gonna have to rerun that? And Charlie said, really? He said, yep. He said, they figured the spot wrong and um, we're gonna have to rerun that run. So y'all need to get cooled down and, and get on back up here so we can rerun that. And he started walking off and he turned around and he told Charlie, he said, and don't red light. What? Don't red light. So, you know, now we're thinking, well, maybe he ain't gonna lie to us. And sure enough, the rest of the day, Charlie just made sure that he was getting red light and went down the track and won every round. We ended up winning the race. And um, so it just proved that all of our thoughts over the years when we went up there and we, we, would, we know damn well we won, but we didn't. <laughs> we know now how that deal worked because I'm telling you, you could go across the finish line and your, he had wind lights back then, your wind light would come on, go off, and then the other one come on. And the, you know, no scoreboards, no time slips, it was just announced, you know, there was nothing to look at back then, but um, that's how it was in the South early, you know, back in the, in the, uh, uh, early 70s, you know, it was just, uh, so, so you know it's kind of like, kind of like what Roy Hill would do, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like how Roy would do things. We used to match race, we matched race with that sucker, <clears throat> and I'm telling you, we'd go and run <clears throat> at an NHRA race, and Roy wouldn't run that good, <clears throat> but boy, you showed up at a match race, and everybody had to have a 500 cubic inch motor and everything, and Roy would win. He'd, he'd win them all, he'd, he'd outrun us all. And um, I don't know how he done it, but he'd beat that PNG too. I think maybe the guy that done the PNG worked for Roy or something, but <laughs> yeah, that's the way it was, you know, back then. It just, I think a lot of that stuff was pretty, well, I know some of it was predetermined before you got there, but uh, well, yeah, that's some your, good stories. You give your fuel <laughs> sample, you had to have a draft for the $100 beer. Right. <laughs>